Hello again and welcome to my review of Kung Fu Panda 3. Kung Fu Panda 3 is the aptly titled third installment in the Kung Fu Panda trilogy. It's a DreamWorks animated film directed by Jennifer Yu Nelson and Alessandro Carloni. Starring Jack Black, Brian Cranston, Dustin Hoffman and Angelina Jolie, the story is about an ancient warlord named Kai who comes back from the spirit realm and is capturing all of the Kung Fu masters and turning them into jade trinkets. It's up to Kung Fu Panda Po to save the day, but along the way he's also challenged by his real father suddenly showing up, and also the discovery of a secret village of other pandas. Not only does Poe have to find it within himself to defeat the big bad guy, but he's also wrestling with the notion of becoming a teacher, taking over from his master Shifu. So I'm a fan of the first two Kung Fu Panda movies, and also of the TV series Kung Fu Panda Legends of Awesomeness. Admittedly I've only seen the first season, but it was a lot of fun, and there was a lot of consistent laughs all the way through it. Not only that, it also boasts arguably the funniest theme song to any TV show I've ever seen, and by the end of season one I was still laughing my head off over that song. Kung Fu Panda 3 continued the quality of the first two movies and was a very fitting third installment in the trilogy. The script was well written and it boasted some really great voice acting, particularly from Brian Cranston as Poe's father Lee. There were some very positive themes in the story, such as things to do with family, finding your inner potential, and also using weaknesses as strengths. I was also very impressed with the amount of setups and payoffs in the movie, as in things happening at the start that, well, had a purpose for later on in the story. But I'll tell you what, the one thing I was really impressed with were the visuals in this movie. My god, it was stunning to look at. There were so many scenes that were just works of art. It was a beautiful, beautiful movie. And it made really good use of the 3D as well. There was a lot of scenes where things were going right into the screen and out. There were a couple of things that kind of make me flinch a little bit when things are coming at the screen. It was absolutely gorgeous to look at. And while it was definitely fun and entertaining, I did think some of the jokes were aimed at a younger audience. And as it turned out, the screening I went to, it was definitely the youngsters who were enjoying it a lot more than the adults. Now maybe this was because I was spoiled by the excellent first season of the TV series, which, like I said, had very frequent laughter all the way through it. But yeah, for me, look, Kung Fu Panda 3, it was definitely fun to watch while you're watching it. But walking out of the theatre, I was kind of thinking to myself, Am I really going to be thinking about it for days to come the way I did with Zootopia? And I'm not so sure. So yeah, while it is very entertaining to watch, the long lasting appeal I don't think was quite there for me. I would have actually found Kung Fu Panda 3 to be a very fitting conclusion to a trilogy. Poe's character arc was, I thought, finalised and I like where it ended. But then I found out that they're actually making three more films and yeah, I'm not so sure if that's a great idea, because what we've got here is a good self-contained trilogy. Which is a shame, because this would have been a great conclusion. So look, in all, yeah, I had a lot of fun watching it. It's definitely worth checking out, especially if you're a fan of the first two, and if you've seen the TV series. So, as it stands, I'm going to give Kung Fu Panda 3 a 7 out of 10. So definitely check it out, let me know what you think, and look, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos and sharing them and, well, enjoying them. Thank you so much for all your wonderful feedback. Now, I have a bit of a favour to ask of you. It turns out that I've actually had some interest in one of Australia's biggest cinema chains, and they've actually offered me a sponsorship deal if I get to a thousand subscribers, which is pretty cool. So at the moment I'm on 18, which in my calculation I've still got a few to go. So look, if you like what you've seen on my channel so far, I'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Not only that, but in the end, you'll, you guys will probably benefit from it as well, because if I can get like a sponsorship deal with a theatre chain, it means I'll get to see more movies. I might even get some stuff that I can have as giveaways or competitions on my channel, which would be a heck of a lot of fun. So. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'd really, really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. And, you know, if you can get some other people to subscribe as well, man, it would mean the world to me. So thank you very much in advance for that. So it was just a short and sweet one today. Thank you very much for your time. And yeah, drop me some comments. Let's talk about Kung Fu Panda 3. Because this is movie talk, I like to talk about movies, and I'd love to talk about movies with you. See you next time. Yeah, hit subscribe. Do it now. Yeah.